Okay, so this is a, a little app I've been working on uh, for the Star Trek Adventures uh, role-playing game uh, from Modivius. And uh, the idea here was for that times when you can't get people in the room together to play the game, you'd be able to play it uh, separately, either um, over the internet, um, our, or if you just wanted to use this as, as sort of a supplement to the game, um, you could all have your own uh, Star Trek pads in front of you and you could have all your character sheet etc on here um, and your GM could send you private messages things like that so it kind of just added to the theme of the game that technological theme um, and yeah hopefully it's something good so at the moment the internet access isn't uh, supported um, but I can show you the the idea through the land mode um, <coughs> so of course there'd be a separate GM mode um, and I, I like the idea of maybe having a a view screen so you could actually have a TV screen or something connected to this as well um, running through a laptop maybe or something like that and that way uh, the GM could actually send uh, images to the laptop screen and you could have your like mobile uh, your map of the, uh, the game area if you wanted to do that um, then other than that you can just um, uh, create new players over on the right hand side so you have to give yourself a name and then you give yourself uh, an access code and create and it'll add it to the list over here at the moment it's retrieving all these from the sort of the local player um, obviously when I go to uh, network play this will retrieve the list from just your own device um, and uh, that will allow you just to access your characters potentially being able to access um, all characters saved on a on a host but you know something like that but anyway you can select ourselves here and it loads in our, our personnel data down in the bottom corner here um, so it immediately will it will find from the data file your rank, put your name, uh, it has this little message, you're serving aboard the USS and then it will put the name here, obviously this could all be customizable. And then it also gives you a little species, just, just some ideas what it could show. At the moment if I was to deselect um, Ollie there and I'd select Harry, he hasn't got his rank, he hasn't got his ship assigned or his species. Um, the same goes for this Carl, Carl character, so we can have multiple characters here, we can turn them on and off. Uh, let's select the Harry one for now and log in using his details. Uh, so this is now brought in our information um, from a saved file and obviously that would keep over <coughs> over every gameplay. So I'll take you back to the... There we are, apologies about that. Uh, if I take you back to sort of the main screen, so this is what you'd be greeted with. Um, we've got uh, our starship at the top here. Uh, and we can flip between this to go to our personnel file. You'll notice it's inputted Harry there, so we, we could chuck in uh, a species, we could give him his rank. Uh, this is also a player input at the moment. Obviously, this could be these could be drop boxes, uh, uh, drop lists with whatever we want, drop downs. Um, we obviously have our attributes at the moment. As you see, these are drop downs, and we can we can fill some of these in, uh, the disciplines, uh, and then all of these sort of talents are listed in at the moment. Um, I've like hand listed that. Obviously there is a few small anchoring issues with that but it's something we can look at and then uh, we could have focuses in here. Um, geology. We could input that. Uh, we've got the mechanics of the stresses that we have in the game. So with these are uh, turn we can switch these on and off. So if we release, we release some as well. Uh, obviously you could fill in some injuries here, we've got non, two non-lethals would give us a lethal, two lethals obviously gives us our deceased, and we can turn those off again, and we have determination points here. Um, so we've also got the, the kit screen, so you've got your on your player here, again we can fill in the names, customizable, and the challenge die here. Same starship equipment on this side, this is also customizable. Um, and then finally there's this screen, uh, not totally complete here as you can see, um, but the idea we have here is um, number of dice to be rolled for each of these, and then you would click the relevant symbol and it would just print out a random value. So just to allow that potential for not being in the same room as each other and you could actually generate the random dice rolls through here, that way you, know, you can trust that everybody's doing what they should be doing, nobody's just pulling numbers out of thin air if, if you weren't playing in the same room. And then of course there is a, a chat box here um, and you'll notice it pulls in the rank and name of the character there. Um, something I'm looking to implement a little bit further uh, down the line is 
little alert system at the top so we can actually change the alert um, and it also changes the character hit so let's say a character wanted to make it very clear they were in combat situation um, there we go they can highlight their name up into the red alert mode um, and this this chat obviously will be implemented in the in into sort of a networked feature so that everyone can see this whether they be on local or, or over the internet. Um, but yeah, once you've you've sort of filled in your stats, you can either hit save over here on the right hand side. Um, if you need to load in, uh, if you had any issues, we can, there is a load system built in here as well. Um, but there also is the close and log out. And if we were to do a log out now, it will take us back to this screen. What it also does is save, so if we now go over here we'll notice it says Ensign Harry, click that, we've got Ensign Harry, I didn't fill in a ship name sadly, but we've got its species. If we log back in as Harry, we should now have, not sure what this, this issue is here, but we'll worry about that. Um, you'll notice it's, it's held the data for those two values that I changed, it's held these values I inputted and it's kept the number of, of uh, stresses and you notice it reordered them uh, into a more orderly position um, and all of his data is kept here um, even that little bit that I changed in here is also there as well um, yeah so this is just something I'm working on um, if there's any feedback anyone who's playing the Star Trek Adventures uh, game and has some better good ideas for what I could do with this uh, I look forward to that uh, hearing from you and yeah, hopefully this will be out uh, in a usable form in the near future. Thanks for watching.